Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I created this channel with the main idea to share with you my knowledge and many years of experience in the field of PC hardware and software, while also trying to make some helpful guides about the games I usually play and test. In search for a better way to reach more of you with more helpful content, I'm creating a new series of videos in which I give my answer, advice or opinion regarding frequently asked questions about hardware, software and games. I intend most of these videos to be relatively short and straight to the point, so without further ado, let me introduce the topic of today's video. What BIOS is, when should you enter and make changes to it, when should you update it and how. Simply explained, BIOS is a program located in a special memory chip on the motherboard that runs every time you start the PC and checks if the installed hardware and its settings are ready to boot the system properly. If the BIOS test doesn't find any critical errors, it locates the operating system and lets it start loading. If the access is not intentionally restricted by someone, you can enter the BIOS usually by pressing F2 or delete key just after you start the PC and before the operating system starts to load. Inside the BIOS you can set many settings that define the way your hardware works such as CPU power, voltage and speed, RAM voltage and timings, critical motherboard settings, cooling control, booting options and many others. I advise you to make changes only if you know what you're doing. Many of the BIOS settings are exclusive to the program. Other can be tweaked usually with a vendor specific software or a third party application. But some of these changes you make with such software are active only during the current session and will be reset to the BIOS values after system restart. When should you make changes in BIOS? It depends on what you want to achieve. Tweaking some of the settings may solve specific issues, improve system stability and performance and unlock different technologies that are not active by default. When should you update the BIOS? If your system is stable and all parts are working as intended, you don't have to update your BIOS. If you have changed a major part of the system, for example the CPU, and your current BIOS version does not support it, you don't have a choice and you must update the BIOS. If the newer BIOS versions bring real performance or security improvements, you should try to find more information and consider updating. If the newer BIOS versions bring support for newer technologies that you want to use, you have to update the BIOS. Resizable bar is a good example. If the newer BIOS version adds additional settings that you need, then again you have to update. For example, many people who watched my video about optimizing 5800X3D CPU didn't have the curve optimizer setting in their current BIOS. The best way to find your current version is to enter the BIOS. Then you can check the official support page of your motherboard for newer versions and what exactly they improve. For the motherboard I use, there is a newer version released two weeks ago. Since my system is working fast and stable, I won't blindly update the BIOS. When I have the time, I will try to find more detailed information about this AMD security vulnerability and how exactly the new version improves the system stability. In most recent motherboard generations, updating the BIOS is very easy. The only thing you need is a flash drive. Go to the motherboard support page, choose the desired BIOS version and download it on the flash drive. Restart the PC and enter the BIOS. Find the menu for updating the BIOS. In my case it is Easy Flash Utility. You need to select the flash drive, the right directory and start the update. If you need to update the BIOS but for some reason you can't start the PC and enter the BIOS, check the menu to find if you have a USB port with the flashback function and the flashback button. Usually you put the flash drive in this special port and press the button for several seconds. That starts the update process. I always keep a separate boot flash drive with a stable BIOS version, relatively up-to-date motherboard and video card drivers and the Windows installation. Having such flash drive is very useful for offline reinstalls when for some reason you don't have internet connection or a second PC that can go online. This has been BIOS explained and how to update it under 200 seconds. Hit the like button if the video was helpful to you and subscribe to the channel for more PC related tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.